And so we have to take that into account. Now, two things keep us from enjoying a job, even when it fits our, our gifts. And I, I heard this from a, from a career counselor once, and um, I want to share it with you, because, you know, it really helped me over, over the course of my, my work experience. You know, um, I'll, I'll draw it here. Rick would be so proud of me. Look at how much drawing I'm doing. <laughs> One day I'm going to learn how to do that obnoxious squeaking he does. With, mm. <laughs> All right, so let's say, it's not like a movie from the 80s, didn't it? So every job has certain requirements, okay? And this is what this career expert uh, taught us. He said, every job is going to have certain requirements. And if, you know, if you're in sales, you're going to have to meet with people. You're going to have to call people. You're going to have to close deals. You're going to have to fill out reports. Now, there's, there's also who we were created to be, our, our, our gifts. You know, this, there is, um, you know, let's say this is 100% you, Right? And, and, and what we want is that 100% of me fits 100% of what's required in my job. Now, here's the problem. This may be true in heaven. <laughs> that in heaven, we may find that what we are wanting, required to do is exactly a perfect fit with what we love to do, what we were gifted to do. But we don't live in heaven. <laughs> we live after Genesis chapter 3, where people have rebelled against God, and it's affected everything. There's a certain amount of frustration in everything here on earth, so you never get 100% fit with who you are. Now, here's what, here's what this, uh, this career counselor, this career expert said. He said, you know what? If you can find a job where 75% of it is love to, you know, in other words, it, it fits what you, what you like to do, it fits who you are, 25% of it is have to, you're going to have to do certain things, you may even hate to do certain things, but here's what he said, if you can find a job like that where 75% of it is, is a good fit, that's an excellent job, that's a great job, you know, me, I love Thursdays, I love Thursdays because I love to learn, I love to prepare, and Thursday's my preparation day. It's awesome. I hate Saturday night. <laughs> See, because while all you are out enjoying the weekend, I'm cramming for my oral exam the next day <laughs> to be graded by a thousand of you at lunch every Sunday. I can't stand Saturday night. It's part of my hate to, but it's a part of the job. Now, here's where this is so helpful. So many of us, even in a job where, you know, 75% or 60% or maybe even 85% of it is a good fit and we could enjoy it, but there's this 20, 15%, 25% that we hate and we only focus on that and we say, I gotta find a perfect job and we jump. We jump, we don't stay the long haul to really find enjoyment. Thinking that there is a 100% fit job out there. There's not, not until heaven, okay? And so this is very helpful when you realize, all right, if I've got a job that, you know, 75% or so of it is a good fit and I do enjoy it, then focus on enjoying that. Don't fixate on how much you hate the 25% or less, okay? Now, having said that, he also said this that was very helpful. He said, if less than 50%, okay, so like if 40% or so is in the love to, the good fit, the gifts, or 50% or less is in that, and the 50 to 60 or whatever percent is in the have to or hate to, you're in the wrong job. You need to make a change. Now, here's where our spiritual life comes in. 